There's a lot of um, challenges with clinical trials. Uh, who enrolls in them? There's sort of a funnel effect. There are very rigorous selection criteria. And of course, patients have autonomy and they can choose not to enroll. Each of these steps is, is um, creating a more and more non-representative sample. So even though the randomized clinical trial is wonderful um, and really creates a, uh, the situation you want when you're evaluating evidence, the generalizability issue remains. So the main advantage of real-world data is that opportunity to look at a more generalizable population. Now, I do want to say that there's a excellent paper that came out in the last year um, that we are actually featuring in our upcoming um, summary of the best papers of 2021 in the EMEA yearbook of cancer informatics, so please check that out. Um, that trial, uh, or not trial, that study essentially synthesizes um, what happens if you start to relax all of these inclusion criteria such as age, uh, creatinine clearance, and so forth, and, and they sh the authors show that um, really not much changes. So one thing you know you think about is we need some structural changes in clinical trial eligibility, um, and then we s could solve that part of the problem. Uh, the other main uh, role of real-world data is the study of rare diseases and upper underrepresented conditions. Um, it is just not feasible or practical to conduct a clinical trial for a new drug that treats a particular mutation that is only seen in 0.1% of patients. It's been done. I know the NTREC fusion studies are sort of the classic. Uh, my understanding is that they found patients anywhere. They flew them to the trial center to get the drug and flew them back home. Um, but that's barely feasible. And, and, and I'd say that's the edge of what, what can or should be done as we go forward, as we, um, as we get more and more subgroups of patients with cancer that could benefit from certain treatments or the others. So that's where, to some degree, you're really gonna have to fall back on real world data due to pure feasibility.